Well, we were playing with the ignition system yesterday, weren't we? And uh, this arrived today. New condenser for the Lister. So, we are talking about this, weren't we? So what I've done, I'll just put, you, put this in the shed and I'll show you. Now I think you can just see it there. Well, you can if I get out the light. That's better. Right. That's my Briggs Spark Tester copy that I made. And it's adjustable, you see. So, it has got a reasonable spark, actually. But, before we touch it, I'm sure you can see on there that it's sparking. Right, let me bring you in a bit closer there. Now, I was letting you see what it was first. I'm going to wind it quite fast. Oh, it's got a decent spark. Now, this is adjustable, right? So what we can do now is screw it out a little bit, just a quarter of a turn to start with, and reattach the lead. I'm having to... Uh, Use some mole grips to hold this one on. As you can see, just gently. Now, let's try it now. Oh, it's still sparking up. I think this magneto is when it's been stood. I think that's what it is because I just had a play with this before I was showing you. Um, it nearly hasn't there, look. See? It has, but not that's about the point we want. Right? So what I'm going to do now is I will uh, just stop the camera because we're being short of room and I'm going to take the cover off the mag and I'll show you that and uh, this screw is not very good look the case is broken there's three screws on it, but we're short of room. Right, so I'll stop it there, and because uh, I can't see very well either. So I'm going to have to uh, take the cover off, and then I'll just show you it. Now, I've got the cover off the mag. I've had it off a few times when I got it, and the leak comes off with it, and I have cleaned that. The gasket, as you can see, is not, I've held it in for shot, it's not very good. But, I've got to leave well alone, I'm on the one. It works, as you see, it's, it's alright in the shed. The only thing to show you, if I I'll need to come in again, like that. If you can see the points, there, well, they're half off, right? They're not uh, the spring. It's funny, so I've got to take that nut off there and just lift it the scratch. There you go. Change condensers. So I've got to take that nut off. So I'm going to have a look and just see if um, it's because someone's put it on wrong, or there's another reason. Because I don't know. Right? You never know when you get these things. It could. <laughs> could go on like that supposed to do but it runs half off anyway right so I'm what I'm going to do now is change the condenser put it all back together and we'll look at the spark again well I've managed it <laughs> with the greatest of difficulty I've had to take the points off and uh, I have cleaned them up actually in the light file in it you know and 
Done it. So I'm just gapping them again. And I'll put it at the same because they were at 10 thou. So we'll see if we can get them back to there. Just had a look because I thought they were, but the gap on them should be 10 to 12 there, it says in the book. The reason I didn't want to disturb them was because I found out why it don't run very well. True, there we are, and that's just as they were. So let me just tighten them up. Check it. There we are. It's fairly clean in there, actually, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's spot on. That is right. I'll put the cap on and we'll have a look. Now, I've not touched that gap, so have we done any good or have we broken it? I think I suppose we'd better find out. Right. Yes! There is a spark and it's slightly better. So, It might not have been a waste of time after all. Oh, it's been hard work. Where it is, because it's at the back of the engine, no room, and I'm, as you know, struggling with different things at the moment. Um, right. Being as how you stood there, can we give you a little bit different view? Um, not sure. I only got to give it a, a quick run, right? But uh, I'm just trying to see if uh, I can show you something different. I don't think I can. Anyway, take this off. And <coughs> put the spark plug back in. in there you see and tighten it up again there you go and you put the lead on like that it's got a homemade thing there you probably noticed that as well Right. Um, hmm, have we got any pepper in it? Still. Yeah, there is. Right. Well, you've only got to hear it, have you? You can't really. I don't think you can see very much then, I'm not sure. But anyway, let's see. Turn the pepper on. finger on the button, turn it back again to compression, I've still got some, and see what happens, eh? Well, as you can hear, we haven't broken it, so I suppose that's good news. By the way, when you were in here and I was showing you something the other day, you heard a noise, a wind noise, didn't you? When you are at the back. Well, what it is, and I have, I've asked about that, all this is free heavy out there. Right? Because I thought it might be something, but it didn't. 
Anyway, another video we can do with this is to uh, sometime take that cover off and we can do the tap it on the valve, on the rocket sector. Because um, enough, I'll come out here a minute. The Nuffield people, someone asked on there, and I thought, well, you know, um, and everyone does it differently and they don't know how to do it. Well, with a conventional four stroke engine, there's 100% foolproof way. And that is, it takes a lot of winding, that's all. You wind the engine round till the valve's fully open, and then you wind it 360 degrees. I did, I did actually show it on my tractor, I think, although I think I said 108 degrees, but no. It goes around twice and fires once, doesn't it, and the cam jack was at half speed. So if you get the valve fully open, and then uh, turn it round one full turn, it's obviously the valve's fully closed, and that's where you want to set the tap to see. So I think we'll do a quick video to show people that. Anyway, look at that still sort of goes. You know, good news, I suppose. There we are. Another list of video for you. <laughs> and now we're... It's stopped and we're quiet. I'm going to take it in the house. I will just show you my spark tester because... I did a video, oh, was it last year, I think, making it, you know. It's a copy of a Briggs spark tester. Anyway, it's worked quite well, hasn't it? So, um, I just thought I might I'll show you that. Right, that's plenty, I'm sure it is. Too long, most likely, <laughs> never mind. We've had a bit of fun. <laughs>